another Manic Monday, or Manic Monday, I guess. That song, I don't know. It always puts me in a good mood, even if it's Monday. <laughs> Doesn't matter what's going on, that song is, I don't know, there's, there's some songs out there that just give you that extra oomph. That's one of them. So, yeah, it's Monday, I just got back from work a little while ago and uh, ate some lunch slash supper, slash supper and now uh, getting ready to do some dishes. Oh yeah. What do we have? Right over here. Get that water going. Put it over here this time. Get the plug. Oh, look at that precious plug. Right in there. And the soap. Let her warm up. Uh, actually, I got my hand really wet, so I'm trying to hold this with one hand, and I'll get right back to you. So, today I, I thought, you know, I was coming back from work, and I had the greatest job in the world, like I said, for me, and uh, I was thinking about the worst jobs I've ever had, and uh, there's a couple. Especially, I guess, if I had to say the two worst jobs I had. Number one, uh, I was in ninth grade, 14, 15 years old, and I had to do some chicken picking, picking chickens, <laughs> for a couple times. And what picking chickens is, is we had to go to this huge chicken farm, and they had these big barns, and uh, it was a night job. So we came there, and all these chickens are on the ground. So our job was to catch the chickens, you know, pick them up off the ground, and stuff them in these cages. And then these cages would be put on the trucks and the, take the trucks to the factory. And you know what happens after that? I don't have to describe. But uh, so I'm sitting there, and you know, it's just dusty and hot and and noisy. And you get your gloves on because you grab the chickens by their leg, and they come up and they're pecking at you and pecking your face and flapping their wings and oh and it's you know putting them in that cage and you know you start out you know I started out like real gentle and like taking one chicken and and then by the end of the night I'm just like grabbing you know three chickens at a time you know two with each hand and three or four chickens and stuffing them in to the cage and you know I'm laughing but actually it's a I love animals but you know this job really taught me how easy it is to like get desensitized to whatever it is, you know, violence or desensitized to doing cruelty or something because, you know, I love animals and, you know, like I said at the beginning of the night, I'm sitting there and <laughs> I'm gently, you know, trying to pick up the chicken and stick it in the, in the cage and, oh, okay, you're okay, you're okay. And I swear, you know, within, you know, I don't know how long I work, but several hours there, and by the end of the night, I was just, I could care less about those chickens. I, I hated those chickens. I just grabbed as many as I could, stuck them in there, and I was just, I thought the chickens were the stupidest animal in the whole world. I still think that. But, but no, uh, it just desensitizes you so quickly. And, it, you know, it's a good lesson that I learned for future things, that it's really easy to get desensitized to stuff. When you think about different things, ah, I don't want to talk anymore about that. That was a bad job, and this, the other really bad job I had, for me at least, uh, I'm sure some of you agree with this out there, or <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about here. <gasps> it was a long day. Okay, number two bad job was the summer right before I came to Poland, so that's like ten years ago now. I. I was trying to get a job just for three months, you know, over the summer after I finished school and before I came here to earn some extra money. You know, I have to explain this because when I tell you what it is, you're, oh, come on, what are you doing? And also, I needed the money. I needed the money. So it was the only way, you know, the only kind of job that I could get 40 hours a week, get some pretty good cash, and that was being a telemarketer. Oh, that, I just get sick thinking about that. You know, sitting 40 hours a week, eight hours a day, calling people one after the other trying to sell stuff and sell stuff that they don't really need. I mean this credit card that I was trying to sell them that was a bad credit card that was meant for people with poor credit who already had a problem with credit and I'm trying to sell them something that's going to make their life worse. I mean that was just, that was 
horrible, horrible. So telemarketing was, I'd rather pick chickens, to be honest. But fortunately, I haven't had to do either since then. And what did I learn? <laughs> I mean, at least the pick, I mean, the picking chickens, it wasn't really my choice. Our school was um, raising money because we were going to go on a, a mission trip with the school. So, you know, we did this picking chickens with local farmers to raise money for the trip. So it had a good purpose. And I got to spend a week in a, in a homeless shelter working there in Omaha, Nebraska. But there, I don't know what, what good came out of telemarketing. <laughs> I learned a lot of new curse words, <laughs> and I learned uh, that you'll pretty much do anything to get some money, right? But anyway, I'd be, I'd be interested to know if you guys have any worst jobs that you had. Uh, I've had good jobs, uh, obviously the one I'm doing right now. And every summer when I go home to Minnesota, I also uh, work a, in a summer job to earn money to pay for our plane tickets and just pay for our expenses over the summer, and I work in a group home every summer and that's great work I mean it's the kind of work that you have like these really great moments and then you also have these really bad moments changing diapers would be one of the bad moments hopefully they have diapers <laughs> yeah talking about diapers um, that reminds me of Devin and Erica sorry for that transition that's a bad trend I'm sorry I did not sorry Devin and Erica but <laughs> changing diapers they have a let me explain they're really great people they have a vlog I'll put the um, link here uh, they have a vlog about their about their baby Olivia and uh, Devin does this vlog every day or every other day or so that about the uh, about their baby being born and now you know what the first bath and and different things about the baby you know baby toys and stuff and it's really interesting and very really nice people and I just want to thank them for um, for being the people that they are and it's been nice getting to know them a little bit and I look forward to getting to know them better in the future so thank you guys uh, you're great so check them out now I should get back to drying the dishes here because I have some drying the dishes and I want to stop thinking about changing diapers I'm not talking about baby diapers either I'm talking about yeah so Sorry about that. the dishes up as you can see over here all nice and spick and span and uh, have a great day I hope you guys uh, enjoy your week at work whatever it may be you're doing live your lives live your lives what, what am I talking about have a good day